we're about to get real. <laughs> What is up you guys? So uh, today I thought that I would make a video just kind of addressing a question that I actually get asked all the time. Um, I thought it'd be easier just to make a video about it because a lot of our friends, a lot of our family, a lot of you guys always ask me questions about living with your significant other. If you should live with your significant other, do I regret it? Do I regret it now especially since we broke up? There are so many overwhelmingly a large amount of questions that you guys and people IRL ask me. So I thought I would just make a video to kind of address it. So Caleb and I moved in together when I was 18, he was 19. I was a freshman in college, he was a sophomore. Moved down to Eugene, moved in together. We had only been dating for a year and a half. Young, early, etc. So let's address the first thing. Should you move in with your significant other? Um, <laughs> probably not if you're watching this video, I'm gonna be honest. If you have any doubt, if you're like Googling, like should you move in with your significant other? If you're sitting here like, hmm, maybe I should just look for some tips or tricks to help, then not, nah, you're probably not ready, honestly. Um, because when you move in with somebody and you're taking that step in your relationship, you should be 100% that you want this because it's a lot of work and it's a lot of dedication and you have to make sure that you're really, really ready for that. So if you're sitting here watching this video like from a Google search, I'd probably say no. I'd probably say maybe wait it out until you're 100% certain and don't need somebody on YouTube or somebody on a blog to uh, confirm that for you. So I'd also just like preface this entire video by saying this is only my experience. Um, obviously people have better experiences, they have worse experiences, and it's all personal. It's all gonna be individualized. There's no right or wrong way to move in with your significant other or when you're ready. Like there's no, there's no set rule book um this is just my experience because a lot of you have asked for it uh so i thought that i would just share what went on so i don't know don't get mad at me if you did move in with your significant other and it was great or if you moved in with your significant other and it was the worst situation possible i can't control that i'm sorry so anyways um should you move in with your significant other if you're googling it i would say no um i think it depends a lot on how long you've been together as well I feel like when you first, maybe even the first year or two, honestly, when you're in that stage of still trying to understand each other and still trying to um, get to know each other and in that honeymoon stage of everything's new and fresh, you can feel like moving in together is a really good step, but just realize that's probably gonna fade. And even if it takes a long time to fade, like even two years, I would say Caleb and I's honeymoon phase went on for a really long time. I'd say like two and a half years or so. Like majority of our relationship, we were like madly crazy in love. Um, so, you know, even though it can take a really long time to get out of that honeymoon stage, I'd feel like maybe just wait until it does fizz out until you move in together. Make sure that even when you're not stupid crazy, like feeling all these emotions and all these chemicals are rushing through your head, even when you're not feeling that, even when you're just low key with this person, long term with this person, that's when you should move in together or when you should decide if you should move in together. Because when you're in that honeymoon stage, that's when people do stupid shit, like move in together. Like you, you gotta make sure that you're, you're really ready and you're ready to commit to that person for a long time, not just like, you know, in that certain phase of like, oh, let's move in together to be so cute and funny. <laughs> Cause it sometimes doesn't end up being so cute and funny. <laughs> so I double check that, make sure that you're, you know, solid with the person that you've been together for a while. I think that's important. Other tips I have, honestly, I didn't even really plan this video. I just thought I would sit down and kind of just go off the top of my head. I thought that'd be more organic. Really, I should bring Caleb in on this video though. I bet he's got some things to say. <laughs> Another tip I would have is you need to understand that it's not gonna be perfect. It's probably not gonna be what you expect it to be like. Um, a lot of people like based off of, you know, movies or TV and stuff, they expect to move in together and it's so cute and funny and you do everything together, but that fizzes out pretty quick. <laughs> and honestly, like, I know this is very specific to my relationship, but I've heard a lot of other people who have lived with their significant other say the same thing. A lot of those things that when you first move in together, you find quirky and cute can get really fucking annoying. <laughs> like, and that's with so many people I know. That's with my parents' relation, my parents' relationships and everything. You know what I mean? Like, just understand that even if you do move in together, at the beginning is going to be very different than long term if you're if you continue living together for a very long time. Of course, if you care about the person and love them, it's great to spend quality time with them, be able to see them, be able to share in life with them. But uh, it's living together is hard, I'm gonna be honest. It can be really frustrating. And, um, and especially if you're not 100% 
feeling the person and you're fresh in the relationship or you you know you have any doubt about moving in with them it's going to be even harder because you're always going to think about the what ifs also this is going to sound so weird but you have to love the person enough to understand that if you break up you're still going to have to see them every day you're going to have to love them that much <laughs> because it's the fucking worst let me tell you waking up every day facing the person who broke your heart into a million pieces is the most emotionally exhausting thing but you have to have at least loved them at some point enough to be able and willing to go through that if it does happen like you have to love them enough to take that risk of wow if we break up i'm gonna have to see you every day but i love you enough that i'm gonna take that risk and still move in with you. You're gonna have to understand that. Cause it's fucking hard. It's terrible. I wouldn't wish the situation I'm currently in on my worst enemy because it is really uh, stressful to um, have to see somebody that you once really, really cared about and loved uh, move on. That's a a pretty tricky situation so you have to make sure that it's worth it because if that does happen you need to be able to be ready for that as well because it's a true possibility at any moment a lot of people also ask me if i regret moving in with caleb and the answer is no not at all i don't regret it for one second um even though it's really really shitty and hard for me now um it'll be over soon so <laughs> i'm fine with that um but i don't regret it i don't regret the love that we had, the experience we had living together, the how we created this place, our home, and made it uh, what it was. Um, I don't regret that at all. I, I think I learned, I think we both learned a lot from this experience um, and learned what it's like to live with somebody. I think it was a great experience, and I don't regret that at all. If I could go back and tell my 17, 18 year old self anything, it wouldn't be not to move in with Caleb. Especially when people found out that we broke up, I actually got a lot of comments on YouTube of people saying like, oh, I wonder, if she regrets moving in with him, I bet that's so shitty or I can't even believe it. And it's not fun, it's not easy, um, but I don't regret moving in with him. I think we both learned a lot, grew a lot. And I for sure thought I would spend my life with him. I was 100%, if, if anybody who knows us knew I was 100% in that, um, that thought. So I don't regret it because at that point in my life, I had no other option. I didn't want any other option you know he was what I wanted and this life is what I wanted so I don't regret that at all I learned a lot from it um I think I'm a better person a better girlfriend a better roommate a better everything because of it so I don't regret it I don't know if he would have the same answer I, I'm sure he regrets it or something but I uh I don't I I love the experience we had and um I do have some tips and I've learned quite a bit about what it's like to live with your significant other and I'm kind of glad that I had that experience and have those have that knowledge and I'm still only 21 like I'm so young still <laughs> I'm so young but I am like I'm really young so I'm uh I am grateful actually that I have that knowledge now because whenever I do end up living with somebody else which won't be for a long ass motherfucking time <laughs> I uh I know what it's gonna be like I have you know and obviously each experience is different but I have an idea of what it's like and I have values that all hold within myself of how I want to be as a girlfriend and roommate so um don't regret it a lot of people ask me that I don't regret that at all also I just thought of another tip really good tip you guys need to have your own like per if you do move in together you guys need to have like your own personal space and you need to make sure to give each other time alone time I think that was <laughs> honestly I'm gonna be straight up we're gonna just talk about it I feel like that was a really big reason that Caleb and I's relationship fizzled out not that this is a, to bash Caleb or talk about our I would never bash Caleb but just like to talk about our relationship that's not what this is, video is about but we didn't have a lot of personal space we have a one bedroom really small apartment um and I was home a lot like when I wasn't working I was home constantly I didn't go do my own things I didn't go work out like I do now I didn't go do stuff by myself I would always wait for him like to go to Target or to go to the grocery store like I would always just wait to do stuff with him which gave neither of us really that much alone time because we would just do everything together but I think it's really really important that you don't do everything together and I know that may be hard especially if you're still in like the honeymoon phase which, which I'm telling you if you're in the honeymoon phase you need to not move in together because it's gonna go bad really quick <laughs> but don't that's like my one tip is make sure you're out of that <laughs> little love psyche that you got going on um but 
yeah, I feel like even though you may be super, super in love with the person you want to spend every waking second with them, which I totally understand, been there, done that, um, it's important to do things alone and to have your own time because then the time that you do spend together, you'll feel more appreciated and you'll be able to appreciate them more. Caleb and I spent we were together. If we weren't at school or work, we were together every single second. We never just chilled on our own. I don't think that helped our relationship ever because we never had time to reflect on ourselves and our own lives and what we wanted. Um, but it also can put a damper on the relationship because you don't feel appreciated because you're with each other so often that it's not like when you come home or when you do, you know, get together, they're like, oh my god, I'm so glad to see you. It's like, oh. <sighs> to see you again <laughs> what's new also understand how much compromise it's gonna take there is so much giving and and compromising when it comes to a relationship and there's so many things that you don't know about the person that you're gonna get to know even if you've been dating for five years six years i don't know why i changed that to six that was so random i acted like that was such a bigger jump <laughs> anyways if you've been together for a really really long time and you're out of the honeymoon phase and you're like, okay, yeah, 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 I've done all this, I've done all this. You still need to understand how much compromise it's going to take. You're going to learn so much about the person that you don't now. You're going to have to adjust and, and be willing to accept their little quirks and, and habits and rituals and what they do. And, and it's going to be all the time. And that's why the, the personal space is also really important. But you're, it takes a lot of compromise. You're going to have to you know, adjust to chores, adjust to decor they like, adjust to, you know, like, there are so many little things that you may not think are big deals, but the second that you move in together, you're like, ooh, that's not how I do that, or that's not how I like that, and you're gonna have to compromise. I think that's about all I wanted to say. I just, I acknowledged the main questions that you guys normally ask. Do I regret moving in with Caleb? <sighs> How'd it go? <laughs> and, especially now that we're broken up and then tips i would have or should you move in with your significant other those are my tips off the i mean off my head that i can think of and you guys this is all just my personal experience my tips and tricks um and you know my my way didn't end the way that i thought it would it didn't end in complete turmoil but it didn't end the way that i thought it would um and that's okay so i feel like i have kind of a a different outlook on it because mine didn't end bad but it didn't end good um in my you know well, I'll say it didn't end good with the intentions of what I had when we first moved in together. So, I don't know. You know, I feel like I have a pretty a pretty decently mediocre outlook on it. So, I hope that my tips and my tricks helped you guys decide. Um, but like I said, if you're watching this video with the intention of me either telling you do or don't, I'd probably say don't just because if you're having that doubt about the person or about moving in together, then probably not ready. Um, under this video be sure to give it a thumbs up if you did hit the subscribe button so you're notified when i upload and i'll catch you in the next video <laughs>